Welcome to Midlife Customs at Craig's Garage. In this video, I continue working on the 67 F100 and start putting things back together. If you like working on cars and watching DIY videos, then you should hit the subscribe button because that is what I post on this channel. Please take a quick minute to read this disclaimer. I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be. So one of the first things I did was threw the cab back on the frame so that I could make some room. Then I prepped the bed and some miscellaneous parts to clear it and get it ready for some assembly. And here you can see that I have the cab next to it, like I said, to make some room. Here's a couple quick shots of it right after I put on two coats of clear. And then a quick look of all the parts cleared and ready for assemble. I do wind up changing things here and there, but I just wanted to show what it all looked like right after clearing it. Now that I have all the body parts in clear, I thought I'd take advantage of the floor being so clean and go ahead and start doing the sound dampener. And I'll put in a link to this stuff in the description down below, but here's a shot of the floor done. And then I went on to do behind the gas tank and the roof. And here's a shot of that. Once I was done with that, I went ahead and uh, installed a topper over the dashboard, and I think that turned out really good. And then I also went ahead and installed some mirrors, brand new mirrors, and a front windshield, which I think turned out great. I'm really liking the way all that looks right now. One of the next thing I did was kind of just clean out the inner fenders and just start getting like a little bit of the engine bay ready for uh, the next step. And like you can see here, the bushings on that was missing. That keeps the hood propped up a little bit. So yeah, I just went and painted miscellaneous parts to get the engine bay ready as well. But back to the cab, you can see a shot of the topper and it looks really good. And I went ahead and threw in the headliner and painted the trim pieces as well. And I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Also went ahead and put in some new door gaskets from Dennis Carpenter, which I do have a video of installation on these things. So if you'd like to see how that's done, you can check that video out. A quick shot of the door panels were all reassembled. I also made some brackets for the courtesy light switches, which I show here. I just bent them up and this is how they fit in there and, and how they mount and I'll paint those later. Another thing I wanted to do is use the gas tank for kind of like a speaker box also for the computer and the wiring from the drivetrain that I'll be using from my blue truck. I'll get back to that. So before I install the bed back on, I wanted to go ahead and do bumper brackets and add the back brace that I showed earlier, run all the fuel lines and also run the brake lines so that that's all done when I put the bed back on. Here's a peek at the front clip that I mocked up just to make sure everything was going to fit right and that I had all the hardware and you can see how the fuel lines are going to connect to the engine and the beginning of the wire and harness. I also went ahead and painted all underneath the bed and the inside of the hood and the little speaker box slash gas tank that I'm 
working on. And I, like I said, that's kind of going to be a work in progress because I wind up recessing the speakers and also kind of like picture framing the middle. But here's the, the beginning stages of the uh, gas tank speaker box. One of the next things I had to install was the uh, gas filler. And you can see here the assembly I use. It comes with a little spout and a fill through cap. And here you can see how it's going to be right above. And I even had to kind of notch it because of clearance. So that will connect with the uh, rubber filler hose, kind of like on a Mustang. The uh, first style Mustangs. And here you can see how I had to tack in the filler, which. I also have to make sure that when you screw down the cap, it lines up. But this is how this thing works. It just sits there and you push it and lifts up. And then it has the fill through cap that goes right there. And that's right on top. So you'll just fill through right, right in the back of the bed. Once I had it all lined up, I was able to just weld it up and then grind it down. And then the next thing I wanted to do was match the paint so I hit it with some black because you can kind of see that underneath sprinkled some sand and stuff on it and then sprayed the red above that and kept kind of just lightly sanding and sanding and sanding until I thought it kind of looked pretty good and then I hit it with some clear and here's the final which the clear will kind of match the rest as it kind of gets worn in a little bit once I was done with that, I just wanted to make sure I had all the wiring done to the fuel pump and the sender so that I would be covered when I put the bed on and I wouldn't have to take it on and off as much, which I wind up having to do anyway, but I tried. I also threw on these uh, rubber mounting pads where the bed hits the frame and painted the backside of the filler that I put in so that it was covered and protected. And here's a sneak peek of what it looks like with the bed on. On my next video, I move on to installing the drivetrain and final assembly. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.